And in comparison to some of the Disney princess doll fabric we've been getting lately from Hasbro, this is some high quality stuff right here. Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I am feeling good today. And that's good. I went through a, I'm just throwing stuff in boxes behind me. I went through a, uh, I, I, I worked really, really hard on a fundraiser and and pushed myself harder than I, I, I should for my health. For those of you who don't know, I have multiple sclerosis and I'm mostly in remission, but I, 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 I can't do a lot. I have to like, you know, kind of figure out like, you know, I have like limited amount of time each day where I'm functional and I really pushed beyond that. And then last week was the fundraiser. So like pretty much every day that week, I pushed beyond that window of functionality by hours. Um, and like every day I was just getting like more and more. But I made it through the, the event and I am so excited and proud. Our, we were thinking, hoping to raise like maybe it was a fundraiser for the domestic violence response team in our township. And what they do is they're volunteers who go out when, um, you know, someone is uh, when the police get called for a domestic violence situation, they go out to the police station and um, they kind of sit with the victim and talk them through what the process is going to be, help them find housing and, and just, you know, they're there for them. So this person isn't alone at the police station with just the police at a really, really traumatizing time. Um, and so we were hoping we were like i don't know how much we're gonna raise maybe we'll raise five you know stretch goal ten thousand dollars we raised twenty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars yes so it was all worth it it was absolutely all worth it so a while back uh there was a post from banana's mom and i'm not i don't, don't think that's her uh, instagram handle i'll put her real instagram handle down below and she found winx dolls at this like um discount clearinghouse place called ollie's and i was like who am I? I mean, like, like Instagram just like blew up. We were just like, ah, ah, ah. and Ollie's is actually in New Jersey. It's about like a little over an hour away from me. And so I was like, I said to my husband, I was like, okay, I can't drive myself to this. You need, you need to get me to this place when I'm having a good day. So we did. We went to Ollie's and I got Winx dolls. But what's even better, I need to make the air conditioner more cold because I'm already sweating and we have not even begun. Um, is what's much cooler is that in the mail uh, a few months back and i've been waiting until i got these wink stalls or wink stalls in general to share this with you i got this stella this stella is one of the older stellas she is a um she's a uh oh i want to make sure i get her um her information right so this was sent to us by winxer b and she uh, does restore dolls and um, she's a longtime watcher of the show and she's a really great artist. So this is an older Stella and you're looking at her and you're thinking, wow, she's got her wings. That's so awesome. This is what is so amazing. In addition to the fact that Winks Be sent this to us. I'm saying us because it was sent to Caden and myself and Caden's like, wow, look at those wings. Um, Wings or B made these wings. So these wings are, I think they're made out of like acetate or plastic. And then um, she, you know, drew Stella's wings and then like put the glitter on them and like painted them and the whole thing. And then she put like, um, you know, Velcro on the doll and, and Velcro on the wings. And so even though her hair is a little rough, you know, I mean, it's an older Stella and they did not have the best hair. Um, I have a Stella with the most gorgeous wings of any Stella ever. Thank you so much, Winks or Bee. This is, this is a prized possession. It's going in the curio cabinet. It really is. She's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So these dolls at Ollie's, it seems that there were only three because everybody seems to get the same three. Oh, wait, wait, I, I, I have a better, I have, I have confirmation. There's three to collect. <laughs> These are Sirenix Fairies. These are made by the company that now has the license to make Winx dolls is Witty Toys. And I think they got the license quite a while back. Like I want to say, I'm lying. I was going to say 2009. I don't think it was 2009, but it was quite a while ago. And uh, the Witty Toys, so Rainbow, who owns the Winx franchise, they're an Italian animation company. They're the ones who sold the rights to uh, Fate, the Winx saga, to use the Winx kind of concept. <laughs> um, 
So these dolls are called Winks, My Fairy Friend. So I don't think these are necessarily tied to any particular episodes. They're using the Sirenics. Um, they're saying Sirenics. These were $12.99 each. And so I have a Flora. I was going to say Bloom. I have Flora. I have not Bloom. What the heck? I have Stella. Stella! And I have Bloom. So those are the three that are out. Bloom, Flora, and Stella. So there's no Musa, there's no Layla Aisha, and poor Tecna, once again, no love for the Tecna. Uh, it says on the back here that they have real fluttery, fluttering wings. They are fashionably poseable. Uh, you know, these are not necessarily a high quality um, but apparently you can go to, uh, www.winxclub.com, uh, and learn all about the Winx and, uh, oh, and there's free online content. Good to know. Winx Club, my fairy friend. So I am going to get these out of the box so we can take a look and decide for ourselves. I mean, it's $12. I mean, it's $12.99, like, and it's Winx, dang it. So let's see how good they are. And I don't have my old Winx Club dolls to compare them to. So that makes me really sad. Also, I want to show you my earrings. Wait. I don't even know if you could see these. I'll try to take a picture of them. They're like little bumblebees and they've got these chains on them. Um, these are from a place. It's an Etsy store that's based in Korea. But I have trouble wearing earrings because um, my ears react to almost every kind of metal. So there's only two kinds of metal that I don't react to, titanium and something called niobium. I don't know, what is that, like vibranium? Um, but it's hard to find cute earrings that are made like that. So this place, and you can find them on Etsy, um, and you can see it better, you can see it more clearly there. They sell really, really pretty earrings that my ear, they don't irritate my ears at all. They're very, very pretty and uh, affordable even with the shipping. And I'm really, really in love with them. So I just wanted to share that with you because I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very sparkly and dangly and fun today. So let me get the girls out of the box, the winks, and we'll be right back. And they're out of the box. Okay, verdict right off the bat is if winks was a big part of your childhood and, and, you know, you did like I did when you saw these on Instagram and you were like, oh, yeah, like stalls. $12.99, if you can still find them in Ollie's or another discount store, maybe get them. But, you know, otherwise, maybe not. So these, these are not, um, these are my doll stands. They do not come with doll stands. They do come with these brushes that are really funny. So it's like a star, but like, okay, camera, wait. There you go. Wait, Look at how short, it's like, we're not even gonna waste the plastic to make a real brush. Um, their hair is, um, it's it's super low quality hair. So, you know, um, and it's got like some product in it. Um, you know, it's gonna frizz up, it, but it's long. I mean, it's really long. I mean, look how long that is. This is Flora. Look how nice and long her hair is. And then they're movable wings. You know, they don't move on their own or anything. You have to, you know, open and close them yourself. So if you want her to fly, you have to kind of, you know, do this, which is fine. Uh, so this is her outfit. I should probably do a real review. Um, it's cute. It's cute. And I have to say, this fabric isn't bad. It's actually stretchy. And in comparison to some of the Disney princess doll fabric we've been getting lately from Hasbro, this is some high quality stuff right here you know? Um, and then the boots are cute. The boots are like a see-through plastic. And so there's like a wing on each side. So they're kind of cool, kind of like platformy, cool. You know, I mean, it's really, it's, they're not bad. Their faces are cute. Um, they're kind of, they're, you know, they're sort of generic, but I don't, I'm trying to think, you know, oof so many Winx Dolls reviews to go back and look through to see if like, were there really different facial features? You'll have to help me in the comments. Did did the uh, the Jack specific Winx Dolls have different facial molds? You know, that's something that we've become so, um, in some ways accustomed to now. We got so spoiled with Monster High and the really incredibly amazing facial sculpts that now we're all like examining facial sculpts all the time. And then we got ticked off whenever After High came out and they all had the same face. They all had the facial, same facial sculpt. And we were just like, but they had like amazing like fashions. And so, you know, 
Anyway, so this is Stella. This is Stella. Um, her hair is nice. I mean, it's the same uh, quality hair, but because they didn't try to curl it or anything, it's just got less gunk in it. And um, I think it's going to last a little bit better. I do agree with the decision for them to all have their hair pulled back into a ponytail in some way. Um, that'll keep it from just becoming a hot mess. And then she's got her Stella wings which um, the ones that Winx or Bee made for me are better. And then her outfit is orangey. You know, Stella, sun. Oops, look at me. Fing! Uh, <laughs> but, um, and again, stretchy. And then her boots are the same, only I think they're a little more purple. Uh, but they're cute. And then it's the same deal with the wings. You have to open and close them yourselves. But I do want to point out that they're articulated in their knees, which again, lots of dolls we've seen lately, not articulated in the knees. And then their elbows. Th the one thing is that the plastic they're made out of is like super, I mean, uh, this is like, look at the spindly legs. They're like smaller than my finger. Um, but again, I mean, I think her eyes are kind of pretty actually. Not sure that I like lavender on Stella's hair, but I think I like her eyes. Um, but I don't know. I just like now I kind of want to go back and watch the winks, um, the good winks, not the ones that not, not the ones that Nickelodeon re-edited and somehow made like a whole different story out of existing footage like what was that? And then I like I liked the, the winks when Aisha was Layla. So like we have the DVD of Layla and the Pixies and I used to love watching that with Caden. I love that, that was one of my favorites. So that's kind of my winks, you know? That's probably why I have such a, a soft spot for Layla. Um, and what was the one where like, what did Techna used to say? Like 98% chance of fun or something like really dorky like that. We always used to make fun of that. Um, and then this is a Bloom, the star of the winks. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, of course, the bloom on Fate. Uh, well, that was interesting. I don't know if you actually watched Fate, the Wink Saga on Netflix. Mixed reviews, even for me. Um, I'm just not. But I do like that this bloom is very traditional in like the color blue th that they're using for bloom. And, and again, the stretchy clothes the cool boots, um, her hair. I'm not, I'm like, I don't know why they thought lavender. Like, let's just put lavender and pink in everything. Like, they're like, what did you get? Like cheap lavender hair? Although Flora's hair is pink. Like I almost wish they had used the pink, right? This pink in Bloom's hair would have just, I think been like more like, whoa, you know, it would have gone with my eyes. Because I have like sort of a orangey pink eyeshadow on today. So you know what? So these are the wink styles that are available now at Ollie's, which is like a discount clearance place. They're made by Witty Toys, and they're um, produced for Rainbow, who makes, uh, who is the originator of the Winks animated series, and has made it so many different ways. Uh, in in in, and just like sells that license to just about anybody. I should try to get the Winks license. Uh-huh. Um, and you know what? They're okay. I don't, you know, I don't think that they're going to sell for like a bajillion dollars on eBay. I, I think, I don't know, maybe I could be wrong because it's hard to find Winks dolls on eBay. But um, I think they're cool. They're okay. I'm glad I went to Ollie's and got them because we had really good pizza. And it's just really fun to kind of be talking about Winks again. It would be really nice if we could get really nice Winks dolls someday again, or if I could recollect all of the original Jack specific Winks dolls. I thought those were very cool, but I don't know that that's ever gonna happen because they're very expensive. But anyway, so let's talk about Winks in the comments down below. Let let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.